What's up, Skate Tales? We're in Globe, Arizona, on the border of the Apache Reservation, where the Native American skateboarder, Doug Miles Jr., and the Apache Skateboard crew keep the culture alive. Skateboards? Which way do I have to go to, to find them? Going all the way till you go to San Carlos. All right, well, see you guys later. Look at the size of that peepee. -pee. The Apache must be nearby. Where's Doug? Have you seen Doug? Is Doug around? Knock, knock, knock. Come on in, bro. Hey. What's up, brother? Come in. It matters. How you doing, man? Come through, man. Hey, yeah. Nice to meet you. Douglas Miles Jr. is one of the scions of a new wave of indigenous skaters fusing their roots in Native American culture with the modern movement we know and love as skateboarding. Born and raised in Arizona's San Carlos Apache Reservation, he was introduced to skateboarding by his father, the acclaimed fine artist Douglas Miles Sr. Doug Sr. painted a deck for his son, and given the instant groundswell of interest this created, he founded Apache Skateboards, a project whereby the indigenous youth of North America could recognize a connection to their own culture within this relatively new form of expression. Native Americans have proven incredibly resourceful in developing and nurturing new iterations of their ancient culture and Doug Jr. spent his formative skating years touring other Native American reservations teaching youngsters how they could become drawn into skate culture without losing sight of their own heritage. Sometimes when you can't find space for your own chapter, you got to rewrite the book. What the hell? You got, you got a lot of dogs out here. This is not even my dog. <laughs> but he showed me the way to you. It's not even my dog. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the res. <laughs> Random dogs, res dogs who just walked in already. <laughs> Since how long you guys had this company? About 20 years. 20 years? That's the first one. That, yeah, that's the first one right there. That's, that's the very the... first one we printed at, in Acme. Orange County, California at Acme Skateboards. I remember in the 70s, I was riding a skateboard. And so when he got into it, I remember, I was like, oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. I started Apache Skateboards around, probably around the turn of the century. Uh, Doug Jr., I needed a skateboard one day and I took him to the mall and I, I didn't have enough money, but I had $25 and I said, Doug, I can't buy that board. I said, I can buy you this one though and I'll paint it when I get home. Cause I've been an artist for a long time. He says, it's okay, dad, I just need the board. And then after I painted one, he took it all around here, you know, and, and then I said, what did your friend say? And he said, they all want one. So that's how it got started. Yeah, so Indelica is um, it's a, it's a brand that I just started, started a company as a clothing company. So I was just making clothes and shirts mm -hmm. and hats. Really just wanted to make dope ass hats. This is my pro board um, from Indelica. It's all about vibe, it's all about cre creativity, like I made this uh, my father, he's an artist, so we want to like um, support artists and, and skaters and, and everybody who does like creative stuff, like things like that. This is the cover of the Globe Miami Times, which is a local newspaper. We were just going to build the skate park in San Carlos, so I think they did the story on that. I mean, this Umber. is my first uh, cover, it's Umber Magazine, the Creative Thinkers Graphic Journal. Um, sports issue actually at the front and the back. Both covers. Yeah, so that was, yeah. that was pretty rad. This is the from the groundbreaking ceremony mm -hmm. at the San Carlos Skate Park. Arizona Republic, we were, we were raising money for a skate park. And you got it? And we raised it, yeah. Yeah, yeah we raised it, Matt actually got it. We're gonna take the Oldsmobile to go to the DIY right now. Apache Skateboards reintroduced a lot of the our history into the, the hands and put it in front of the faces of younger kids where 
we weren't really thinking about that stuff. We weren't thinking like, I did had no idea and no clue about history back then until I saw the boards and then how did we get here? What happened? To figure out the, where I came from and why we're here on the reservation. Hey. Oh, that <laughs> Hell yeah, it's dope to meet you. What's your name? Jared. Jared? Yep. Roger. This is it. This is the spot. The DIY. We had a GoFundMe account. Did the fundraiser through like Instagram and social media. And it just, it was crazy because people just started posting and reposting and reposting. And then people from all over the country have just been super hyped. And, helping out and couldn't have done it without these dudes you know like these are the homies and the, the homies that you guys see skating you know they they did all this shit my name is adam Pinoya and i'm a white mountain apache you know from the reservation and this is where i grew up and where i started skateboarding at as we we're talking about the skate park we're building right now with doug you know i'm trying to do it back for the kids. I'm not asking for anything out of it. I'm trying to keep it alive, you know. We can't let it die because that's the activities for the kids to live on and survive on. And, you know, try to like lead them away from, you know, the bad, the bad experience that I've been through and I don't want them to go through that. Before I used to skate, I was like naughty. I wasn't really a good child, but after I started skating, I just started to just want to skate more, and that's so just what I do now. I just skate. So it's like, it brings a lot of influence to a lot of you younger people who kind of don't have nothing to do here on the reservation except just, we all know, drugs and alcohol and just stuff like that. And so this is, this is kind of a big impact. See a lot of people come here that we don't normally see, but it's just like, it's good to see them coming out of their comfort zone to come and skate at least and do something. Have fun, just have fun in general. The point is, it, it keep them away from depression. That's another way of being happy. Like you're pushing down the sidewalk, it's pushing out the bad energy to get positive energy in you. That's how I see skateboarding on the reservation because that's all we got. Yeah, I think Apache culture has always had art. We've always created our own stuff. We've always been very, very creative people. He started this, my father, uh, he created this, this type of style that you kind of see. But he was, he was an artist since I was even born. And everything that you see in here is still Apache culture. It's still the same thing, it's just, the older stuff grew into what it is now. Yeah, we just met up with Dad, and we're gonna go see his artwork, his dad's and Trey's authentic Apache art right here. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Yeah, so this is a um, spacecraft gallery, and this exhibition has been uh, put together by my sister. Oh, I see you made some posters. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you think about them? Skate jam, sounds about right. My homie Trey's got art, uh, my pops has got art, and my sister's got art, which is this one right here too. This is Ruben Ringlero, he is uh, the original Apache filmer. Yeah, uh, 
uh, you know, art has been a, a big thing in skateboarding, and it's also a big thing in Apache culture. So what you see here is art from our culture and just us, you know, creating. Think of it, it's crazy. This is like four generations of Apache skateboards right here. Yeah. yeah. Four generations in one room. Yeah. Should we check out the art? Yeah, yeah. I think we as indigenous people, we're, we're very creative. It's in our, our blood as creative people. And what we're doing is just a modern way of that, whether it's videography, graffiti, you know, it's another way for us to express our creativity, you know, besides skateboarding, but that's what skateboarding does. I don't think we could do that. I don't think we would have have gotten there maybe uh, without Big Doug's help, you know? When you're seeing Trey, Doug, and Ruben uh, from Apache Skateboards, you are seeing this history of Apache people played out in a modern context because they are young men, they are young leaders, and they are leading community. Yeah, art has always been a part of Apache culture, and I think uh, cultures around the world. Can you see the face on the front, like there's a little Indian face? is a way to preserve culture, but also to teach and promote culture at the same time while being created. What about life on the res? Is it okay. like a res? It's like a whole other country or? We have our own laws and we have our own regulations and we have our own government there. It is, it's still, it's still controlled by the United States. But this was like a prison camp, dude, San Carlos. Apaches, there were some over here, but they, not, not really, because it's, it's the desert and there's no water and shit. Apaches come from the mountains, so wherever we are in Arizona, and you go into the mountains, the higher mountains, that's where they're from. Everyone's from the most beautiful places in Arizona, the most beautiful places from New Mexico. That's where we're all from. That's where we're supposed to be. There's not very many jobs on the reservation, which creates a low, a little bit of a harder times. It's hard, it's hard in the fucking res, bro. And he's from Latvia. He's never had fry bread before. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> so I sell fry bread every day. I've been here for over 25 years. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, have a good it's day. nice and warm. So before eating this, we're gonna enroll. I'm trying to become an Apache. You wanna get my friend here enrolled in the tribe? What, what, what do I have to do? Will you stamp my cast? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's like... Now I'm Apache. Awesome. Thank you. So what's inside these things? This is uh, fry bread with beans. You got a simple version. It's uh, fry bread with beans, and there might be cheese in there. Mmm. Amazing. I love the bread. That was mine, but you can have it. <laughs> so we see some skaters skating a porch right there. We're gonna ask them to join us the session in the, in the skate park. This is this, the younger ones. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I'm with uh, Matters Apps from Element. Element Skate Team, you guys should come skate the park right now. Yeah, that's where we're going right now. Yeah, come through, bro. All right, yeah, we'll be over there. So this is downtown. And what do the leaders say about skating out here? They like it because our we like our new leader because he, he's the chairman and he's the one that wanted to build the skate park. So he took some of his funds and he put it to the skate park, the new one. So he's cool. His, his, fun, his own fund. Yeah. There's my pop's uh, big mural. He's he's a muralist too. Oh, your dad did this one? Yeah, my, my pop said that. You know, skateboarding's more widely accepted now in the world and the community. But back then, it was a, the first step to, you know, making skateboarding more accepted here in San Carlos. This community, it, it's a very open community in a lot of ways, especially when it comes to kids. If it's good for kids, then they're gonna support it. Like right now, the chairman supports the skateboarding. Yeah, this is where me and Trey kind of grew up skating together since we were kids, man. 12 years ago, I believe, I was about 16 at the sign. We couldn't stay out of here. When they're building construction here, 
we would hop the fence and skate just the little parts that they already built. And we would get chased off here all the time. And eventually we took down the entrance and the fence and they just gave up and we're here every day ever since. <laughs> uh. Solid. right here. He rides for Angelica. He's been ripping here in San Carlos since I was a little kid too. definitely grown over the years uh you can definitely see the generations like doug is one generation then there's my generation there's a couple kids who have another generation i haven't been back here in a while but as i you can clearly see the community skating is well alive and strong yeah it's grown a lot it's grown a lot but it's grown because they go work with kids in the community they they show kids how to skate and they include kids how to skate so they built the community and they built the culture. They are the culture. We, we, we are making culture and it's new culture. It's not like regular mainstream skateboarding culture either. It's different. Yeah, it's skateboarding, but it's completely different. We do what we want here. We do it the way we want to do it. We don't have to follow any rules. We don't have to follow the rules of mainstream skateboarding or we don't have to follow their rules. Why? Because they don't live here. So we're here at Apache Burger. It's one of the very few restaurants on our reservation. We're gonna get matters a uh, Apache Burger. It's a staple in our community. It's a fry bread with two patties and a classic American cheeseburger inside of a fry bread. It's time for an Apache Burger. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Wow. Apache Burger. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Ecstasy. We're about to play horseshoe. And your goal is to swing and try to get your horseshoe or like a ringer around the post. This game's not that easy. But he did tell me that the woman, the mother, is in a high, high appraisal of it in the Apache culture. Like, people respect the women, the yeah. women a lot. The, in the Apache culture, women can do whatever they want and be whoever they want to be. I've heard that we are a matriarchal society and that women play a slightly more important role. I'm always blessed to be in the Apache and to learn more about my culture and, you know, so. That was a good shot. Aim with your whole body. You want your, your feet to be across like this, yeah? Just perfectly. And where do I look? You're looking oh, right God. at your arrow. Ow. Apache means to be hardworking. Apache means to be unstoppable. Apache, to me, means to be high performance. Oh! Hey, right <laughs> oh. Have you been doing this your whole life? Now you it's in my blood. There. Uh, Apache to me means to be relentless. It means to be uh, powerful. Apache means to be tough. It means, yeah, all those things for sure.
now we're gonna skate some street around Globe. I don't mean the shoe company, I mean the city of Globe. We're gonna skate around. Thanks, homies. Thank you. Nice. Yes. Fuck yeah, Mason. That was fucked. We're gonna give away some boards, shoes, thanks to Element in DC. We're gonna do a little contest for the natives. Just gotta figure out how to carry all this. But I think it's doable. Ah! <sighs> Alright, forget about it. Thank you, man. Chillin', chillin'. Hey, everyone say hello, give them a round of applause for Matters. Hello. Now we're gonna do a little skateboard contest on this transition right here. Alright, the contest begins in three, two, one, go! And we got our first winner! Come on up. All right. And we got enough. It's nine. Here you go. You got these ones. All right. Skateboarding in the community, uh, I think skateboarding on the res is, is growing. And it's continuing and it will grow because the community is starting to support it. They're starting to build skate parks, more skate parks than what they had before. You know, there's other communities that are seeing what communities are doing. So they're like, hey, skateboarding's popular. There, there's something growing there. So we should do that too, you know, and it's just gonna keep growing. Apache Skateboards, it, it's uh, inspiring a lot of people to get out there in their community and make a change, that they have the power to do that with anything, with whatever they're good at, they can, they can change or bring um, a positive change to wherever they're at, with whatever they're good at, so, for sure. That should be all right. to have that confidence being anywhere out there that you can be all right that it's fine you know i want to be able to be put out there somewhere and be like okay i know where i am i know those mountains over there and i know those mountains over there and i know what grows here and i'm fine i'm not i don't feel like anything i feel okay i'm fine <laughs> Woo! that was scary we found the tarantula uh, it is a hawk is it a hawk Can you feel the power of the nature flowing through you? Yes, I think I can feel it. Yeah, this isn't bad. Have you it, That's the driest it's been, actually. Yeah. We usually just use this little strip that's already dry. And we just kind of like... Yeah, 
needle through it. But this is like the best it's been. This is part of skateboarding ditches. Sometimes you gotta shovel. Sometimes you gotta build some dams, divert the water another direction. And soon enough, we'll be skating this thing. So what is skateboarding to you? Skateboarding to me is my gift. It's, my, it's what God gave me. Skateboarding is, it's not everything to me, but it's what God gave me to do for the rest of my life. It's what God gave me to, to do, to bless the world with. It's, I am skateboarding, you know, like it's me. It's what I'm here to do. It's why I'm on this planet. It, it's why I'm here.